you. Good afternoon, uh, everyone. Uh, this is Muhammad Zaki. Um, I'm glad to be here with you uh, today and introduce you to my uh, research. First, I'd like to thank, thank you, Subis, and uh, the Dean, Jennifer, for uh, initiating and organizing this seminar series. Also, thank you for my fellow colleagues who are attending the talk today and those are, uh, who are presenting as well. So a little bit about myself. So I'm currently an assistant professor at the Department of Civil, Environmental and Construction Engineering and a member of the, uh, the Smart City Initiative uh, team here uh, hosted in the department. Before joining UCF, uh, I was research associate at the University of British Columbia in civil engineering. However, my uh, PhD is in electrical computer engineering uh, from Concordia University in Montreal. So given this multidisciplinary background, my research is oriented toward developing new technologies for civil engineering application, especially uh, I'm interested in computer-aided uh, tools for transportation system. My teaching is also aligned with my research. So um, I developed uh, two new classes that address the role of technology in transportation. The first is uh, active mobility in transportation, where I introduce students to different uh, technologies to manage pedestrian and biking, biking facilities infrastructure. Also the course examines the safety impact of technologies like, uh, uh, technology, uh, like phone distraction and so on on safety. The course is geared toward, uh, the other course is um, Mobility in Smart City, which is geared toward more the vehicular and car technology, where I introduce students to basic concepts in connected and autonomous uh, technologies, uh, along with some co-simulation of those uh, designs. Along with uh, my colleague here, Dr. Agarwal, we coordinate the Smart City Master Thesis track, and we together also we introduce two new classes uh, for introduction to Smart City at the undergrad and uh, grad uh, level. Both, both will be uh, taught again uh, on 2020. So uh, a little bit about uh, the motivation of, of my research. So the central question I'm trying to ask now is how can we measure, improve, and verify safety in the next generation uh, transportation system? So next generation transportation system, we know it will be integrated, it will be uh, interconnected and highly autonomous. So in such future uh, mobility system, so we need the rigorous formalization and validation of, of the transportation transportation network. Also, we need to make sure that whatever uh, the system works as intended and the desirable properties of the system are reali reliably maintained. And any uh, service need to be resumed as soon as potential disruption is happening. So we need to run the city and its mobility in a way that's efficient and resilient. But first, we have to address the chronic condition, which is road crashes and also challenges faced by AI, which we uh, refer to as what, who watch the watchers. So in the next few slides, I will introduce you to three of uh, my research themes. Also, I will outline some of the research gap and challenges that would guide my uh, mid-term and long-term uh, research plan. Also, I'll, I'll put pointers for uh, future suggested collaboration. So let me first uh, go to the first study. So in, in the study, uh, I'm extending an earlier work uh, which I started a few years ago on uh, proactive road safety. And uh, this work, by co I collaborate with Professor Ati and uh, Dr. Samuel Hassan here in the uh, civil engineering department. So proactive uh, traffic conflict techniques are uh, used to evaluate traffic safety uh, based on the observation of traffic conflicts or near misses. We rely on video analytics here to track the movement of vehicle and detect potential conflict between those uh, vehicles. So we use indicators like time to collision to quantify the severity of those conflicts. And by aggregating all this information, we can diagnose the safety uh, issue at the road facility and also evaluate the impact of certain traffic conditions. Let's say a hurricane evacuation or a drop of certain level of connectivity for connected vehicles. This line of research addresses the shortcoming, which is of the current state of the art of road safety, which is uh, using crash data to evaluate safety. So by using this automated traffic conflict and as well as other safety measure, we can significantly reduce the time needed for diagnosis and potentially uh, reduce crashes and uh, saving many lives uh, along the way. So uh, with my collaborate, collaborator, we have a couple of uh, journal papers um, submitted now under review in a high impact journal, as well as a federal highway uh, grant under uh, review. 
So uh, the second uh, study uh, here titled Active Mobility, Behavior, uh, Cooperation, and uh, Communication. Here I'm collaborating with Dr. Adam Pella from Industrial Engineering to further develop the mobility model of uh, pedestrian by focusing on the walking mechanism and attributes, let's say age group, etc., and how they interact uh, in, in their environment. So the objective is to develop a mobility model realistic enough to be uh, to be able to study the way pedestrians interact, communicate, and share information. So uh, in this case, so we, again, we collect data from uh, video analytics and we analyze uh, the walking behavior, the get, uh, get features in order to calibrate uh, this uh, mobility model. This research is important as it provides a novel mean for facility management and operation, also by understanding how people communicate and behave in this certain uh, environment, we can build a better, for example, ad hoc network routing protocol. This research is currently funded, funded by uh, DOT, uh, University Transportation Center, uh, called CIFRSIM, and also uh, a co more comprehensive research uh, proposal is uh, submitted uh, with uh, colleagues from California State University for the Federal Highway Administration. Um, the last stream of my research is captured by uh, the third project, which is developing formal specification and verification of transportation system. So um, using mathematical reasoning, formal methods seek to ensure that the des design system adhere to the intended specification of the engineer who designed the system. So as a first step of this direction, we developed a logical framework for uh, formal analysis of macroscopic uh, model traffic flow, like shock wave, uh, speed, and so on, as well as microscopic behavior like headway, gap time, and so on. So the, this is promising because we can allow uh, using this technology to verify autonomous vehicles, cyber physical uh, system, and, uh, and also look at other behavior like network adaptive traffic signal control, which is a very challenging issue. So I, I have recently an IEEE access journal uh, published in this respect. And along with my colleague, Dr. Agarwal and Dr. Das, we submitted uh, an NSF uh, proposal. So how do I see my research developing in the next couple of years? So I would like to further explore safety, um, safety mitigation strategies through using uh, video analytics and the impact of connectivity and uh, automation on the, on the roadway operation. There are many open questions, however, um, about using formal method techniques in transportation systems. So I will spend some time uh, probably there, uh, try to do preliminary studies and developing the necessary algorithm and codes. And uh, so the objective is to seek to, to, seek to provide a roadmap uh, to how to develop a, a robust and uh, safe uh, transportation system. Also, uh, my future uh, research agenda entails a writing proposal. I uh, have an NSF career, hopefully next year will be submitted, and data collection uh, uh, for video analytics, and well as uh, publication of, of uh, preliminary uh, research findings. So as uh, for my midterm uh, career, mid career plan, I will look at the particular problem which is related to transitioning from the current state toward the state where we have more and more connected vehicles. I, be, I believe it's very important as we don't know yet how the road culture will be uh, there for pedestrians, scooters, and sharing the road with autonomous and, 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 and other uh, road safety, uh, other new technologies like connected vehicles. So, um, and also for my long-term uh, goal is to develop a comprehensive research program geared toward making smart city more resilient and more efficient. This includes addressing vision zero and developing more for life series of smart city. So uh, in terms of collaboration, um, I like some, uh, I, there is some suggestion uh, I pointed here. So uh, including as a formal verification of robust AI and how to develop data-driven cyber physical system, uh, agent-based simulation, but I will also be happy to uh, communicate with you and explore fresh stream of research related to other topics in smart city as well um, as uh, former uh, verification.
So I, I would like to wrap up uh, this short talk by uh, thanking my grad students and my undergrad students for the hard work they're doing and for the culture they're creating in, in our lab. Also, I would like to thank uh, my collaborator, Dr. Ha uh, Dr. Ati, Dr. Hassan, Dr. Agarwal, and Dr. Yoon from uh, the Civil Department, Dr. Vela from Industrial, Dr. Arthur Nguyen from Rosen, Dr. Fernando Riviera from Sociology, also, uh, I would like to thank uh, many colleagues uh, in, at UCF for their continuous support, coaching, and advice. Uh, and finally, uh, I would like to thank uh, Sarah, Jeannie, and Baidi from the Office of Research. Thank you very much.